at Newcastle United. More on that still to come. Now to a big story we're following throughout the day here on Sky Sports News. Watford have opened their pioneering new academy which has run on school lines. The boys have lessons and are there during traditional school hours. A Watford manager, Aidy Boothroyd, was there to welcome 35 players starting at Harefield Academy today. Boothroyd wants it to be the first of many to address the lack of top English players coming through the ranks. Really it's about the players, you know. It doesn't matter that Watford are the first club in the country to do it. Um, what matters is that we're not the last and that players can uh, come, uh, do their education and make sure that they're getting a, at least 10,000 hours over a period of time of uh, football education so we can hopefully improve Watford and then if, we, if everybody does it we can improve our country's uh, game as well. What's the philosophy behind the idea of sending kids to what is almost a sort of a regular school environment? Well the idea is I mean we bust them in from all over London to make sure that they're all together. Um, we just feel that we've looked at other countries and, and we are behind in terms of um, how they work with their young players. Uh, we've actually sent a, a party over to Willem Twey in, in Holland and uh, we, we studied them for, for a period of, of, of months and we've tried to integrate what they do there here where players uh, don't just go to school then come and be footballers, they're actually footballers, young footballers at school so educationally they have to work exceptionally hard to make sure to maintain the grades and at the same time they, because they're talented individuals um, the, the talent is nurtured in an environment where co coaches can come and work with them all together. Well that was Eddie Boothroy talking a little bit earlier on and we can now cross to Watford's Academy live and join our reporter Jim Cockin. Yes, we're here at the Harefield Academy where it's lunchtime and I have to report there's not a turkey twizzler in sight. 35 of Watford's academy players have started school here today, the idea being that they'll get a regular education alongside their footballing one. Now, Nick Cox of Watford's academy is with me. Nick, what's the thinking behind this new project? Well, there's, there's two main reasons behind the project. Um, the first would be that we can actually increase the amount of time that we spend with our players. So under our old system last year, our players were training for around six hours a week. Uh, under the new system with the boys here at the Harefield Academy, they'll be training in excess of 15 hours. So it goes without saying that obviously the more the boys practice, the better players they will be, the more chance they've got of achieving their full potential. And it cuts out all the aggro for the parents, doesn't it, from, from transporting them around the country for practice? That's exactly right. Um, the new system will actually provide a, a better opportunity for our boys to reach their full potential on the pitch and off the pitch. So uh, gone are the days of boys getting home late at 10 o'clock, doing their homework at, before bed at half 11, eating their dinner in the car uh, and parents stuck on the motorways. All of those things are taken care of. The boys will eat their meals while they're with us, they'll do their homework while they're here and they'll be given a great environment to learn in, as I said, both on the pitch and off it as well. And I think it's worth stressing, this is a regular school Watford are, are sort of buying into and, 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 and working in partnership with. We are at a regular school and your players are becoming regular school kids. That's right, our players are going to be integrated into the Harefield Academy and they'll be expected to meet the same standards as every other child here at the school. Well, we've got some of the, uh, the new recruits with us. Bernard, uh, tell us a little about your first morning here. How's it gone? What have you been up to so far? Well, I came in in the car, well, actually the van, and then we went to our PL groups, which is our tutor rooms, and we had a little bit of time there speaking to our teacher. We then transformed to training, where we did, I think, an hour and a half of training there, and I just came back from maths, which was a good lesson for me because I'm quite good at maths. Good for you. We've got some of our, your, your mates down here. It's, it's Alex. Uh, what have you uh, been up to and what have you got going on this afternoon? Um, this morning we've been doing football, as Bernard said, and uh, before lunch we did food technology. And this afternoon we're doing design and technology and woodshop. Now just uh, tell us how old you are. Eleven. So you, you're kind of one of the youngest people here. Are you enjoying what you've seen so far? Yeah, I'm really liking it. It's really good. Good stuff. And we've got your, your friend over here, uh, Jazzy. I don't know whether you could just tell us a little about what you've made of your first day at school here. Um, it's been really good. And the training has been much easier than my dad having to bring me all the way up here because I'm here already. Now, it's difficult, isn't it? Because we hear all three of you really that, you know, you start off as a footballer. It's very difficult to make the grade. It's all impressed upon you that, you know, the academic work is very, very important in case it doesn't work out, isn't it? Yeah, because we've got a mixture of football and normal work and we have our homework done by the end of the study sessions at the end of the day. So it's really good. Well, look, we'll let you guys get back to your lunch. Thanks very much for your time. Uh, as I say, I think there's some apple pie and custard on the menu this afternoon, so perhaps it is true these really are the best days of your life. Back to you. Then I will see a few of them in the Premiership in the coming years as well. Let's move on to...
Sky Sports Extra for that game very shortly. Now, clubs like Ajax have been doing it for years, but until today, it's not been tried in England. Watford have revamped their academy and now sending their young players to a local school. The idea is to give them more practice time on the pitch and more time to study. Big blazers and new shoes. The first day back at school for Watford's academy boys. A.D. Boothroyd was there to meet them. 34 players will be studying as regular pupils at the Harefield Academy, not far from the club's ground. Education with a half and at the same time, they're, because they're talented individuals, um, then the, the talent is nurtured in an environment where co coaches can come and work with them all together. 8.30 and it's time to collect the new timetable. The boys, aged between 11 and 15, will combine schoolwork with football. The aim is to give them a proper education in case they don't make the grade as players. This way they'll get the best of both worlds really. They, you know, they'll be able to live their life as a, a normal youngster would live their life. The first lesson of the day is football. This is all part of the curriculum, not an after-school thing, so there's more time to work on the basics of the game. Yes, yes, yes. Under the old system, we were looking at maybe six hours a week. Um, under the new system, our boys will be training in excess of 15 hours a week. Um, and obviously, the more they practice, the better they're going to be. But it also allows us to work more with the boys on flexibility, core stability, and talk to them about psychology and nutrition as well. After that, it's into the classroom, and there's a full day of study ahead. Uh, Joseph, The school breaks for lunch and there's not a turkey twizzler in sight. The academy players mix with everyone else to ensure their feet are kept firmly on the ground. The training was good and my first lesson, maths, was also enjoyable. What are your favourite subjects you've done today? Football. <laughs> Have you made some new friends or are you guys still sticking together, you, you Watford guys? Uh, well, I've made a few friends but I am sticking with all my other friends from Watford as well. Watford have based the system on one that's been used successfully in Holland for years. They hope it will help them and England produce better players in the future. In this country, um, £500 million or so was spent on players coming in. Um, I don't see much of that money going towards youth development, if any. Um, I would like uh, this country to be in a situation where Accrington, Stanley and Morecambe are getting funding to be able to do what we're doing here today. The only reason we can do this is because we've been in the Premiership for one year. So Watford are happy to be making a long-term investment here. If it starts to pay dividends, expect other clubs to follow their lead. Jim Cockin, Sky Sports. Now the new NFL season starts. Castle United, morning.